What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the LED light kit on your John Deere Z7 mowers. So let's go ahead and get started and see what kind of tools we're going to need to do this install and what all is going to come in that kit. Now to do the install on this kit, starting with the tools that we're going to need, we are going to need a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet. And we're also going to need a 13 millimeter wrench and 13 millimeter socket, once again, using that ratchet, then a 17 millimeter wrench and a 17 millimeter socket. And then also a good idea is to have a electric impact or a drill, whatever those things are. It's just gonna speed things up. Then we're also gonna need a T20 star bit to get underneath our switch panel. Now, the hardest thing about this kit is getting the actual light assembly put together. So to put our light kit together, what we're gonna have is the mounting bracket itself. Then we're gonna have the light bracket along with its hardware, one bolt, a rubber washer, a metal washer, and a nut to match this bolt. Then we're also gonna have our light assembly here and then the hardware to mount it to the bracket, which is going to be this carriage head bolt, one metal washer, the nut to match that, and then our two plastic washers that are gonna go on the side of our light here into our bracket. Now, once we get all this put together, then we're going to have a light assembly that looks like this, that's going to be ready to be mounted to the machine. Now, we're also going to have in this kit four of these bolts here, which are going to be that 10 millimeter, which are going to mount these lights to the mower. Then we're also going to have our switch and last but not least, our wiring harness here. Now to put this light kit together, the first thing that we want to do is we want to get our bracket here mounted to our mounting bracket right here. So this would be the front. So your curved side is going to be the front. So your light is going to be facing this way off of the bracket. So what we want to do here is we want to start with putting our bolt down in where it fits snug into the bracket, just like that. Then we're going to put our rubber washer on right here. Then we're going to go down through our bracket, just like that. And then on with our metal washer and on with our nut. Now these are going to be where our 17 millimeters come into play here. And we want to do this before we put our actual light on because once we get this on, then we do not have room. If we had our light on first, we don't have room to get our wrench on to the bolt right here up top. All right, so once we get that snugged up, then we can turn this bracket a little bit if we want that facing a different direction. And now we're gonna be ready to go on with our light. Now you'll notice here that in the light, you have a couple of grooves here on the actual housing. Now this is where our plastic washers are going to fit into place. And we want those to be on when we slide on our light bracket here. And those are going to slide between the metal on the light housing and here on our actual light. Then we would take our carriage head bolt, put that through, then we're gonna go on with our metal washer here and on with this nut here. And then now we can tighten that up with our 13 millimeter, just like that. And then we can adjust that angle of that light. And then once you've done that for both sides, now we can go to putting these on the machine. Now, right here in front of our motion levers, right here with these two bolts is where our lights are going to mount. These are going to be that 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. Now you'll notice that whenever you get these out, you would think you could just reuse these bolts, but you'll see that the new ones are just a touch longer to make up for that bracket. So we want to go ahead and use the new bolts that come in that kit. Take those out. We're gonna set our new light on just like so. Then we can start those new bolts down in and take our impact. Go ahead and get those down in, get those tightened up. And then we're just gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. Now your next part is installing the wiring harness, which is actually a very simple process. First thing we're gonna do, raise our seat up. We're gonna get it up and out of the way. Then we're gonna grab our wiring harness and I'm gonna explain these ends Pretty simple here, but we'll go ahead and talk about these. So what you're going to have are these ends here, which go into your lights. Then we're gonna have these two ends here, which are going to be our battery cable connections. Then this would go around the back side of the mower here. Then on the other side, we're going to have our other light connection and also our plug 
for our switch. To mount this, we would start over here on the left-hand side. We're just gonna get this kind of laid where we know it needs to go. First of all, we would take our plug here and go into the back of our light. Simple pop in just like that. Now, next thing that we're going to see is we are going to see a metal clip right here on the wiring harness. That is going to mount right here into this bolt to the back of our motion lever. That again is gonna be one of these 10 millimeter bolts. We're just gonna zip that out, get that put into place, put our bolt back in, and then just tighten that back down. Now you'll have one of these on each side that you'll need to put in. And then you'll also notice these little black pop-ins right here. These are gonna be put in different places throughout the wiring harness that we can strap this, pop these down into these holes to hold this wiring harness into place. And then next we're going to install our battery cables here. Next, we would remove our battery cover, get our battery terminals here. Now this is going to tell you here that this is ground, which is black, it says right here on the side power which is going to go to our red also a good indicator is the power is also going to have your fuse on it right here so we would take these off pull this back then we're going to take loose our battery cables here and these are going to be a 10 millimeter and we would take our connectors here get those lined up put our bolt through and then put our nut back on tighten these back up there and then we would come around here with our other side get them connected bolt back in nut back on and then tighten that back up now we can put our cover back on then we can move to the other side to work on getting our switch put in place now on this mower specifically this is a z740r that already has a light kit installed in the front so we see that there is a switch here but if you're working with a mower that does not have a switch already in place then there would be a pop out here that we would need to cut out and then once we were to cut that out we're going to take our t20 and take out these two bolts that hold this panel on here and here Take both of those out, then you can simply pull up and out on this panel to be able to get to the back side where this switch connects. Now, what we'd want to do is we would want to take our plug end of the wiring harness and go through this hole at the front here of the bottom of the switch panel, put that up and through, then we would pop in our new switch right here. It's simply a push down and in to mount that switch and then connect our plug to that switch and then we would be good to go on our switch mounting and then lastly we just need to take our other light connector here pop that into our connection make sure and put in our mounting bolt over here behind the light and then pop in those black connectors like we did on the other side then if we had our switch installed which for this video i'm not going to install that switch since we already have one here but we would just pop our switch on like it was or connect it to the battery so once we turn that switch on, whether the mower is on or off, as soon as we turn that switch on, our lights are going to come on. Now we've got that extra light to do whatever those things are that we need to do. If we're mowing in the evenings, whatever those things are, boom, just like that, you've got it. Now, the part number for this kit is going to be BUC10310, and it's just as easy as that to get these things installed. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing this kit or any other parts at all, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.